hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well today's video is something that i've been willing to do for a very long time and i just had a chance to actually come and do that so today's video is sharing with you things i wish i knew before i started pharmacy school like there's so many things i wish i knew which would have prepared me for the tsunami that's about to happen in pharmacy school so i thought i would share that with you and if you're new here my name is esther i'm a full year pharmacy student from the university of east anglia and what i do is i share study tips and productivity tips and i do a lot of study with me to motivate students as well that are struggling in the same situation as i am so if you're new and you would like to learn more about things I wish I knew for pharmacy school, please keep watching. So guys, grab your cup of coffee because we're about to like, I'm about to share the juicy stuff. Like it's really, really, I'm really, really excited about it. And before I go into this, this will be beneficial for people that, um, thinking about going to pharmacy school or going to that thinking about having being a pharmacist as a career for people that are actually in the going to be in the process of the application in September cycle and people that will be actually be resuming in September so you're going to really learn a lot about what what's like there's so many misconceptions about pharmacists and I'm just about to like just pieces that right now like to just let you be aware of what things are on a real basis if that makes sense and also just a full disclaimer out there this is my own personal experience and my own opinion that doesn't mean every pharmacy student experience this majority of us might just do but it's not that doesn't mean we all do everyone has a way of how they experience things and stuff so it's just it's just having fun and just sharing with you things i wish i knew personally before i started pharmacy school so please don't quote me or anything like that and this is not to put you off pharmacy school it's really really nice and interesting and i just wanted to share the juicy stuff i wish i knew so, so guys the first thing i wish i knew before starting pharmacy school is the amount of workload oh my god there is a lot of things to do and sometimes i'm like do they ex expect me to get all of this done with this tiny brain of mine like you know that sort of thing like it's just a lot and i don't know maybe it's the same in other pharmacy school or maybe it's just my school because like ue actually ranks really really high in pharmacy in the um university ranking thing so i feel like they try their possible best to just keep up with that ranking and at the expense of <laughs> students stressing and stuff like it's just a lot of things to do and i think um from attending webinars for new students coming in one of the questions or some people ask is that or oh, i chose pharmacy because i thought this is easier than medicine sorry sis sorry brother it's not easier than medicine it's relatively the same thing if it is not actually harder than medicine so don't come into pharmacy thinking it is easier than medicine you're going to get shocked out of your real <laughs> out of your realistic world or that it is actually not easier than medicine it actually has a lot of workload and content to cover like i remember in my first two years like i'm always studying at least 12 hours a day and it's not like they made me do it but i just feel like the amount of workload i need to do it and before you finish one coursework there's another thing that needs doing there's another thing that needs to give in you have to give in like and no one can ever prepare for that workload so it is it is just a lot like sometimes i'm like why do we need to do this do we actually need to do this so yeah like it's a lot of workload like you really have to keep studying keep working there's always something to do it's just it took me a lot of time to actually realize that i need to look after my mental well-being and actually just close my eyes to something and feel like don't worry i'll leave it and do it tomorrow at least the deadline is still there like i'm not stressed over things so it's a lot of work and i would like to make you know that it's not a bed of roses you definitely have to put the work in the effort in and it might take away some of your me time so you just have to learn how to balance things out so the second point about things I wish I knew about pharmacy school is that pharmacy is not just about organic chemistry. Yeah, surprisingly, it's not. It's not all about organic chemistry. We do so many, so much more things that sometimes I'm like, wait, I'm sure I signed up for pharmacy. What am I doing? 
that sort of thing um i think that was not even one of my own worry when i started um pharmacy and uh, like i said if you have watched my q and here i did a foundation here. and the reason why i did a foundation here i would put that somewhere here for you to go and watch after watching this one and I was worried about the chemistry because I've never done chemistry so I thought pharmacy is going to be completely like 90% chemistry and I have to learn it and besides I still hate it I hate chemistry like I just hate it it's not just my thing but thank god that pharmacy is not just about chemistry because I would have struggled a lot because I don't like chemistry <laughs> I still don't know why I pass it but like I've never failed it but I still don't like it um, Pharmacy actually has a lot of things involved in it. Aside from the chemistry, of course, we do the organic chemistry. I think the first day you do analytical chemistry, learning how to do all this, staring, staring, and all this nonsense thing. Um, and then from second year, I'm, I'm above, we start doing organic chemistry, how this drug works in the body, you know, just sort of blah, 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 the mechanism of action, you know, all the spider diagrams, <laughs> things like that. However, there's so much more to pharmacy than organic chemistry. Um, we do physiology, when I mean full physiology, like what medics do, we do that. The only difference between us and medics is that they do anatomy and we don't do anatomy. But the full physiology of what they do, we actually do exactly that that amount of physiology we do that and then aside from that we also do the physics aspect of it you'd be surprised that pharmacy does physics oh yeah we do and my project was on physics and by the way my dissertation was on physics um later part of pharmacy which i really really love it's really really interesting so we do physics which covers the drugs delivery aspect of the pharmacy like how we deliver the drugs so for example if you are if you are thinking about eye drop how do we deliver the eye drop into the systemic part of the eye to make sure that it actually treats the treats the patient treats the condition we're trying to treat the patient for those sort of things and how we deliver medication how we deliver medication into the skin especially if you're trying to treat something in in the blood but you're trying to use a skin approach to, to treat that condition that sort of thing you might not understand what i'm saying but once you start you would understand so we kind of do the physics part of it aside from that as well we do business yes i think and that's mostly my forte like i think when we started this business side of the we're like wait did i sign up for this why are we why are we having to do business we call this this business case and it's just so long i'm like oh, do we have to do it but like it's makes sense that we have to do it because pharmacy you can try to have to be an independent to build an independent pharmacy for yourself and that's the business side of pharmacy and also if you do you are not you don't have a pharmacy of your own you're working under a pharmacy chain you need to know the business side of it because they'll start asking you why why are you giving a branded medication when you can't give a generic which is cheaper so you need to know the business side of it so that makes a lot of sense that we're doing that there's so many much more things that we do and then we do the pharmacy practice part like communication skills consultation skills um telephone consult consultation skills responding to symptoms medical history like so many things we do so it is not just organic chemistry um and which and if you don't like chemistry that is a plus on your side because you ask other things that you can also enjoy during the course so guys the third point i wish i knew before i started pharmacy school is that i don't know you know that the pharmacy in uk is divided into like two kind of it's like an integrated master's degree so like you have your undergrad of three years and then one year of master's degree just so you know the undergrad never prepares you for the master's part of pharmacy trust me i'm in it right now and i'm like sometimes i'm like oh i wish i had you know i wish i had done is that something i could have done differently to have enjoyed this master's years better and things like that but i'm like i don't even know no one prepared you no one even prepared me like this is what the master's is going to be like and this is why i said that in undergrad of course we have coursework we have exams to prepare for we have all these things which is a lot of workload already but the issue one good thing i noticed about undergrad is that you never have two or five coursework due at the same time yes you don't but with master's here they now see you that you've successfully passed your undergrad. We expect you to start thinking like a master student. You now have like four or five coursework due at the same time. So you are literally working on 
four or five different coursework every day because they are due at the same time and you literally have to manage your time wisely to make sure that you're spending exactly the time you plan to spend on each coursework and this is me when i'm doing my coursework or i'm working on a topic i like to focus on that topic because i really can't multitask when it comes to studying so i like to focus on that topic first and then finish that before i move on to the next thing with a master's level you can't do that one moment you are focusing on sexual health the next moment you are focusing on business case the next moment you are focusing on central nervous system all those things like like yeah it's just it's just it can't prepare you for it like and also the workload actually triples it's not double it actually triples um I feel like some people could have said, oh, you can still manage because, of course, the first semester is just focused on your dissertation. But I think because of the pandemic, um, for our part, um, it's it's not because part of it, we had to be preparing for a portfolio, like, you know, and things. And we're like, oh, like I just don't know what, how to do all this because I have projects that I have labs to go into and things like that. So like your time management and organization skill, as you have to up that game on your master's here. It's not the same as undergrad. Never have the same mindset that, oh, I'm going to do the same thing I did in undergrad. If for masters, it's not. And also for masters, when you're preparing for your exam, it's not just the lecture notes or slides that they give to you that you just focus on. If you do that, oh, 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 you're going to see the grade because you will not get the beautiful grades you usually get in undergrad with just, with just giving back your lecture slides for exam questions. No. At the end of each le lecture um, topic, they literally give us... Um, for the reading so they give you two or three articles they expect you to read those articles along with your lecture slides and get ready for your exam and they expect you to give back those articles to quote them back in your exam mm, yes so in undergrad i never had a chance to do that just focus on my lecture notes revise the textbook and go but like you have to actually read do a lot of further reading um in master's level and for i think also for master's level is that it's not as undergrad where you str um, you you struggling with things. You go and ask for help, and your teacher will kind of tell you what to do. <laughs> they don't tell you what to do. They expect you that you're not a master student. You've been through the undergrad, so you kind of know how to do things better. If that makes sense. So like, it's so different. So definitely, it's not the same. But and I don't even know. I can't say. Oh, this is a way you can prepare because you can't. I don't know if you can ever prepare for a master's year. You just have to like wiggle your way out of it and just learn the process as you go through it. But I still really, really enjoy it at this point. But yeah, like your undergrad and master's is never the same. Another point that I wish I knew before I started pharmacy school is that pharmacy school is actually studying. It's about being smart with your studying because if you just study hard, you work so hard and everything like that, you just suffer yourself and that would not be so helpful for your own mental health. Like, nah, 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 nah. You have to be smart with your studying. If you're not smart, you literally be, just be there. And while you're seeing your other classmates progressing and moving forward, you're just there. <laughs> just there, there. And when I mean by being smart, smart with your studies, is that I, I'm saying this because I've experienced it. My first two years of uni, I thought I could do this by myself and just study so hard and hard, like 12 hours, like I said, I was studying for 12 hours, studying non-stop, catching up on sleep whenever I can. My social life went through the window because I had to study pharmacy, blah, blah, blah. When it got to my third, I think that would be my second year, after my f first and foundation year, I had to switch things around. I had to like be smart when I see what my other classmates do, which is not negative, which is like a positive thing, is getting close to a senior year, someone above you, they've been through what you've actually gone through. They can advise you on what to revise and on what not to revise on because they've done it before. So why suffer yourself and reading the whole lecture slides 120 lecture slides per topic and everything like that and you don't even know where the like, question is going to come up from you're just wasting your time and that's just not a smart way of studying you want to make sure that you're very very efficient with your time when you're studying so like by asking for help also in terms of coursework when you're doing your coursework and you're really struggling you don't even know how to go about it ask a year above you they've been there it's not like they're going to give you the answers but they can guide you on what you need to do and 
that guidance is as little as it sounds goes a long way because it just helps you to narrow down what you're supposed to do what you need to do how to focus on things and stuff like that so i would definitely advise you you have to be smart with what you're learning be very very smart with it once you start uni Although for those of you starting in September, during your precious week or like the um, the body events that they do for pharmacy students or those things like that, they kind of match you um, match you with a senior year. Please make use of your senior years. Like they are there. F they, there's a reason why they try to do that mentorship program where you have a, a year above you, like a school mother or a school father or kind of thing they they literally like whatever you're struggling with they are there to support and give you advice on how to go through those boundaries that come with pharmacy school those difficulties that come with it because i'm telling you it will go a long way and if you literally make use of this advice your life will be so easy trust me it will be so easy like you literally be like wow thank you esther for giving me this advice because it's just the best and I really really I've really benefited from it and I'm still benefiting from it even though some of my what I will call them like my school fathers or school mothers they have actually graduated from the university I still contact them I'm like oh um, oh we're supposed to do this do you know what this is about like and they're like oh yeah this is what you're supposed to do this is what you're supposed to do and I just go on and crack on with my work which makes a lot of sense sometimes they can even help you to proofread your work before you submit it like proofread your work before you submit it that's perfect because they know they've done it they've been graded on those things they'll tell you i think you need to change it because if not you will lose marks there that sort of thing it's not like they're giving you answers they're just kind of directing you on what to do things because i just have to clear things out that like they are not giving you the answers but they are guiding you through what you need to do to get the right grade and to just find it easy out of this pharmacy school um troubles and difficulties if that makes sense so guys that's all of the things i wish i knew before i started pharmacy school i wish someone had told me and the issue with this pharmacy school situation is that there's less youtubers out there talking about pharmacy school especially in the uk setting like there is not a lot of people sharing all these things and i thought i could just use my platform to just open the floor for all these pharmacy people coming in people that are interested in pharmacy and things like that so like this is all the things I wish I knew because if I knew all these things in my first two years of university, I'm sure I would have done really good. I would have done better than I did. And I'm glad I realized it earlier, which is really helping me move forward and progressing well. Like, I can't believe that I only have two months left to finish uni, which I'm really, really excited about. And I just wanted to share my experience with you people as well so that you don't just think it's it's not a bed of roses it does have its own ups and downs but trust me you can always overcome it if you kind of have all these ideas of things i'm chipping into you and you kind of learn from what i from my own experience i'm sure you literally be jumping off things and just be scaling through things easily and this is all these things i've mentioned is not to scare you away from pharmacy trust me it's such a beautiful degree out and the way it is so broad like a pharmacy degree you can use it to do anything anything and it's not just now it's not just um, re, um just, it's not just taking to like hospital community industry these days anymore there are more job roles and job opportunities out there for pharmacists that are surprised you like wow so i think i'm interested in this area and things like that so like it's not just case it's really, really exciting i'm just here to share my experience and to just have fun you know that sort of thing um yeah so if you like this sort of video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and also share with a friend that i feel like might need to know this before they resume to school in september thank you so much guys and i'll see you all in my next